Hello, it's Nancy today. I was going to explain to you how to stretch your watercolor paper so that when you paint on paper, you see the higher the number of paper the better it is for absorbing the water and not absorbing and whatever it's supposed to be. But When you wet paper, you know how it wrinkles up, you get all these waves. Well, when you're painting with watercolor you don't want that to happen. So this is a technique that has just been explained to me. What you do, I have, I'll show you this one first. This is a, a board. I don't remember what this stuff is called, but you probably do. Now you can use any kind of board, but um, drywall or something. What you do first, you get a board, and you get some of this kind of tape, which is the gum tape. It's gummed on the back, and you're going to moisten this tape eventually. And then you get your piece of watercolor paper. And it's kind of it's kind of a textured paper. I don't know if you can see that at all. Probably not. But anyway, so you get watercolor paper. And then you take your paper and you submerge it in water for 30 seconds. i got to do something with this rock. It's all wrong. So you submerge it for 30 seconds. No longer. No less. And then you lay it out on your board. Smooth it out and get it down there. It's nice and flat. And what's happened now is it's gotten really stretched. It's all big and stretched. It's soaking up the water. Then you moisten your tape. You wet it on the other side. And then you lay it down. And as you can see on here, you can see this ridge. So it's about a, a centimeter over the edge of the... Here's the ridge here. This is the edge of it over here. So you, um, you put this tape down over the over your paper. I'll turn this around in case you're looking at the picture. Um, you put the tape down and now you want it to stay there and dry. That's why you're taping it down. But sometimes it'll shrink and it'll pull away. So putting tacks in the corners is a good idea. So you can put a tack in each corner and then as it dries you know, you're putting the tack in over here, just in the part that's underneath the paper, right? And then you let it dry, and it won't shrink. Or, in it, I mean, it stays stretched. That's what I mean. Now, you're painting on it. You're making a big mess, It's it's, but it's, it's wet. But, because it's stretched and it's still held on like that, it doesn't get bubbly. It doesn't get wavy. Now, if I decide, oh, I'm done, and I take it off, and then I want to correct something, like these need lots of more shadows, all these don't have shadows enough. Well, if, I wanted that, if I've taken it off of here and I want to add some more to it, if I wet it, it's going to make the paper bu buckle. So, you do not ever take it off of the mat board, or not the mat board, but the stretching board. You never take it off the stretching board until after... You've done everything you've done to it. And when you think that it's your picture is done, it's all perfect. I didn't do that picture. When it's all done and it's just perfect, then you can take it off. And your picture will then lay flat and it will never have bumps in it. There. That is what I just learned from John with my lesson the other day. That was worth the whole lesson, was what I learned there. Okay, so you can do this at home if you want a watercolor. There you go. Okay, bye.